Cincinnati is home to almost 300,000 people, but very few of them know what is directly under their feet. The skeleton of a subway system, a project started long ago and never finished. The Cincinnati subways have been abandoned since 1925, and as curious students looking for more information on this forgotten part of history, we headed down to the city to learn more about it. The subway was actually uh, conceived of way back in the late 1880s, and the project uh, went through a number of studies, but in 1916, uh, the, the local uh, citizenry passed uh, a bond referendum for $6 million to build what would have been a ring subway system, part of which would have operated underground, part of which would have operated on the surface. Um, around Cincinnati through Norwood uh, to create a loop back downtown. Uh, because of World War I and the United States' involvement in that and because of material shortages, um, the project really didn't start until 1920 when they began to drain the Erie Canal um, or the Little Miami Canal. That uh, process started at Walnut Street and started to work its way west and up Central Parkway in the old drain canal and uh, they worked until about 1925 when the dollars ran out. Um, they had completed work almost all the way to Norwood, which was about 50 percent of the project, but obviously they didn't have the funds to finish the rest. And because of a number, a number of issues with the project, uh, cost overruns being one, um, some consideration of corruption and, and uh, contracts going to friends of politicians and things like that, the project was essentially stopped at that point. Uh, covered over and the Central Parkway created on top of it. After learning about the subway's history, we decided to check it out for ourselves. We drove down to Cincinnati, found a subway entrance, and began our exploration of the modern day abandoned tunnels. The first thing we found was a homeless person's living room, proving that others had established themselves in the tunnels long before our arrival. Beyond the light provided by the large entrance, we were plunged into total darkness and relied solely on the lights we had brought with us to see. The tunnels seemed endless, going for seven winding miles with tubes measuring 15 feet high and 13 feet wide. They run from the north to south sides of Cincinnati and are full of interesting sights, sounds, and smells. We had no idea what we would see along the way and hesitantly, we headed deeper into the darkness. It was gloomy, smelly, and had little airflow. Graffiti covered the walls and indicated that vandals had found secret entrances that city officials sought to keep on the down low. Very little, you know, there's very little air movement up down there. No wildlife. People always think there's gonna be some wildlife, but Somebody did see an albino spider once. We didn't see any albino spiders, but we did see clothes, beer cans, and other debris covering the ground, and the tunnel tracks kept going deeper and deeper into the city. We, we do have issues with folks trying to get in from time to time. You know, being below grade is a constant 55 degrees, so when it gets cold in the winter, people like to get in to find someplace warm. Um, but mostly we have problems with people who are just very inquisitive and interested in seeing what goes on. Um, we have to re rework the locks on the doors out by Hopple Street about once a year, I think. So The doors used to be, uh, used to be able to climb in the little opening at the top, and that's why there is now a, a new solid door on there to keep people out. Um, but right now we've, we're, we're sort of caretakers of the tunnels, if you will. Um, it, they constitute a fairly significant resource. Um, it's hard to find alignment where you can put other uh, modes of transportation without competing with uh, the modes that are there today. Uh, so we maintain the tunnels and keep them in, in, in pretty reasonable condition. The city also offers occasional tours of the subway in conjunction with the History Museum. Mr. Luganville is a tour guide for these special events. Procedure's been to do two in the spring and two in the fall. Usually around 
uh, April and October. I'd like to think we have a future for uh, mass transit here in um, the city. We can run light rail vehicles in them actually. You have to run them at lower speeds, but uh, they are compatible to put light rail or an electrified bus system or something like that in. So when the dollars and the resources and the culture comes around for that, they do present a, a, a great option for us to create some kind of uh, rapid transit uh, system and to put those tubes back into their intended use. There is hope that the tunnels will be reopened for public transportation. In the meantime, they will remain dark and abandoned, waiting for the next inquisitive people to explore their depths.